What's up guys, it's Jacob with Chopper Scum and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Espinosa's Leather uh, Cut. This is the 5050 Club style vest that they have on their website. I'm going to go through a bunch of the different options you know, that they have, uh, what I chose and, and kind of why, um, give you my feedback on it. Um, I've been riding with this cut for about two and a half years now, um, so I'll be able to give you my take on things that um, I liked, things that I should have done differently or didn't like. Um, I get asked about this cut a lot. It's a pretty expensive cut, um, but there's a lot of added value that you get when you order one of these. So, we'll start out with the front. Um, Espinosa 50-50 uh, club style cut. So, uh, the top portion um, from about the chest up, this is all solid leather. Uh, and then from the chest down, this is perforated leather. Um, I ordered uh, this specific style because I wanted something that was going to be cool in the summertime, but I wanted it to be durable. It's going to hold up for a long time because um, I know a lot of guys that go through cuts pretty quickly. Um, if you buy a cheaper one, it's going to wear out. It's going to tear. The liner's going to come out of it. You know, your pockets are going to wear out. You're going to you know rip holes in them. So uh, I wanted a quality vest, and uh, and I chose to go with Espinosa after doing quite a bit of research and looking at different uh, cuts online. Um, one of the things that I really like about the Espinosa cuts uh, is they have a lot of pockets, and you know you can only take so much stuff with you on a motorcycle. You can strap stuff to it, but having multiple pockets is super convenient. Um, so you got two chest pockets here uh, that both button. Um, two side pockets here um, that open up and they also have a snap on the inside of the side pockets one on each side uh, and then you go to the inside and this is uh, an internal uh, what they would call a gun pocket um, you know you could use it for anything um, sunglasses notebooks uh, extra night riding glasses whatever um, this also has a snap on the inside of it um, and then you've got an additional internal pocket um, that you can, you know, use to store pocket knives or pens or uh, cards or <clears throat> really whatever you want. Espinosa offers a custom liner, so <clears throat> they have a whole bunch of different liners that you can choose from. Um, I chose this purple bandana liner. Um, I think it's super rad. They did a really good job on it. Um, the liner's a good quality. Um, you can actually contact them and send them any liner that you want to have put in your cut. Um, one thing about Espinosa that I really enjoyed is it's basically a fully tailored custom vest. So you take your measurements at home, um, your shoulder width measurements, your height measurements, um, you know, how big around you want it, and then you send them those measurements and then they literally build each cut for each person. So that's part of the reason why they're more expensive. You can't just go online and buy one. Um, you do have to buy one specifically for your size, which is awesome. Um, you know, they do um, the custom leather stitching, so you actually get to choose um, your stitching. Uh, you know, if you look at mine, it's hard to see, but they do, uh, they did do purple stitching on this as well. Um, so. So, a few of the things about this vest that I should have done differently or I wish I would have known beforehand um, or really gotten a good idea for, um, you know, they tailored their vests uh, almost a little bit short. So, I did have mine tailored extra long on the bottom um, because I hate when I'm riding and my vest wants to ride up or my jacket wants to ride up in the back. Uh, something that drives me crazy um, and so uh, I did have them do that um, so you just have to note that their their cuts are tailored a little bit short um, you know it's just above waist level is where is where they have it set up um, also they tailor the width um, to fit a hoodie underneath and they do state that on their website um, if I were you and and you know, I'm speaking from experience. I live in Montana, so it gets crazy cold in here. Um, spring riding super cold. Winter riding is super cold, uh, and you're not able to get a hoodie and a leather jacket underneath of it comfortably. Um, and so, I would order uh, a little bit larger around, um, and I would explain to them that you're in a, a cold state because these are made right in California and the U.S., which is awesome. Love supporting. Uh, you know, United States merchandise and, and even local when possible. Um, so 
they only have hoodies underneath their cuts, whereas, um, you know, like I said, we're rocking full other jackets, hoodies, you know, you name it. So it did fit pretty tight, um, and I, I rocked it that way for a long time. Eventually, I got sick of it. I wasn't uncomfortable with the way that it fit. And, you know, you, these do have a pretty good warranty. If, you know, if you have any issues with them, you can just send them right back to Espinosa, and they take care of it for you. Um, don't do what I did. Uh, don't split the sides and put rivets in it yourself. Um, you know, send it back to them and have them do it. For me, it was just a pain. I didn't want to have to pull all my patches and everything off to ship it back to them. Um, so those are kind of a few, few things that you should think about. Um, another thing for me personally that I don't like uh, about the cut, and it's it's very small in comparison to the things that I do like about the cut, because um, I love the way it fits. It looks good. Uh, it's extremely well made. Great material. Um, with the club style cut, when you're riding, um, this portion here, it does choke you out, um, and you can give them a neck measurement, but basically what happens is when you're sitting, um, it pushes the top of the cut up into your uh, neck, so I generally rock the top button unbuttoned and leave it unzipped. Um, so what I would have done differently is I would have requested that um, they put a V in the neckline, um, so basically just cut down, um, take out some of this material, take out one of the first snaps, and then cut back up. Um, and you can make a lot of requests. These guys are great. The customer service was awesome. I filled out the form, sent in my measurements. <clears throat> they contacted me within the next couple days. They confirmed everything, gave me a timeline of when they thought my leather was going to be done. Um, you know, So they, they do make an amazing product, um, and I love my vest. One thing I had added um, was the zipper. It was a little bit extra money. I'd never had a zipper in a vest before. I've always just rocked regular snaps. Um, this thing is freaking awesome, lifesaver. I will never have another vest uh, without a zipper again. Uh, it's so convenient, especially if you're in a hurry, if you if you go on a lot of uh, poker runs or rides where you gotta uh, you know get your gear on real quick and go. You just zip this thing up. You don't have to button any of the buttons, uh, and you go. So I really love that it's convenient, and uh, you know I'm just lazy, so I don't want to button my cut all the time. Uh, anyways guys that's pretty much everything that I have to tell you about the Espinosa leather 50-50 uh, club cut um, I, I love it, I enjoy it, I recommend it to all my friends um, everybody that sees it likes it um, you know it's definitely an investment I think it's worth the money for sure just make sure that you go through uh, and you think about all the things that you want um, because you know once you get it in if something doesn't fit right then you gotta send it back out and get it retailered um, so anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, please do like it, subscribe, uh, share it. You know, I do these videos because when I um, purchased this thing, there was no information out there on YouTube at the time. And, uh, you know, I do get a lot of questions about the cut, so I figured I'd make this video real quick, throw it up online, and that way if anybody had any questions, they could just punch it in, pull up the video. Alright, well, make sure you guys subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more videos on gear. I'll be doing some how-to videos on installation for motorcycle parts. Uh, and I'll be doing um, some other uh, reviews on parts as well. So, thank you guys and have a great day. So, I thought that was pretty, pretty rad. Apple juice? Yep.